everyone, my name is Erica and welcome to my channel. This is something that I have been wanting to do for quite some time now. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel, but I didn't really know what to actually talk about, you know? Like, what should my channel be like? What should I have on there? Well, this opportunity arose and we are going to be moving to Seattle in a month and I figured how great would it be to have a channel based on the highs and the lows and everything that goes into moving across country. Um, let me preface, I live in Florida, so we will be doing like this crazy road trip to Washington um, in just over a month. So um, I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. Like I said, we're going to be moving to Seattle, Washington. Um, we've only been there twice, and uh, the last time was about three weeks ago. So we actually went to find an apartment, which was a little bit more difficult than we had really expected. Um, there's a couple of things that we didn't know about, uh, i.e. the 20 days of tenants letting the um, apartments or whatever condo you know place know that they're going to be leaving whereas here and the apartments that we're living at we have to give a two months notice so we kind of jumped the gun a little bit we were there too early so they didn't really have anything they didn't have any information to tell us if a unit would be available so that was kind of irritating um, it all worked out though. A couple of days ago we did get the approval email that we are all good to go and we will be moving in um, the last weekend of June. Um, like I said, we're going to be taking this crazy trip there um, and I just thought, hey, how cool would it be to vlog this and make a channel out of it. Um, I don't know, it's kind of something that I feel like I would watch, um, you know, to see your travels and what's going into it and how am I going to um, feel when I move, you know, where I don't have, you know, as many friends and I don't have any family there, um, everything like that. I'll be moving with my husband, Daniel, and um, we're just really excited. For what's gonna be in store we don't really know um, the two things that we do know is that we have an apartment and we have movers <laughs> uh, we're going for with no jobs um, we're just gonna wing it we're just gonna hope for the best and um, probably school is gonna be pretty important um, I'm gonna probably start school like this fall semester or something like that if I'm accepted so I'm sure I'll fill you guys in on all the details about something like that. But um, I just, I'm really excited that I finally am able to do this and I have, you know, I went and got a computer and I went and got this um, camera and I got some accessories and stuff on Amazon so I'm totally just like entry level here. Uh, I don't know how to edit. But I'm learning, I watched so many YouTube videos on how to edit on iMovie and all this stuff. So um, hopefully this isn't too bad when I first start doing it. Um, I know that experience is the best and you know, the more I do, the better that they're gonna be and hopefully uh, everyone will enjoy them just as much as I am enjoying making them.
where are we moving? We're actually moving a little bit north of downtown. We're going to be moving to Fremont by the Fremont Troll, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, there's a whole bunch of restaurants and um, shops and bars and all kinds of stuff um, in Fremont. We really didn't get 100%. Like We don't know the area, obviously. We've only been there once. Um, but when we were there, it was really great and I loved it the feel of the city. Um, I love that we're just a little bit on the outskirts, so we're close enough to everything, but um, we're still kind of out of all of the busyness and everything like that that goes into living downtown. Um, we did originally want to live downtown, um, but we didn't really take into account the cost of rent um, and like a high rise or something like that. Uh, coming from Florida, going to Washington, it's like almost double in some cases in downtown. So that's why um, we we're trying to go a little bit farther away to make it so it's a little bit easier for us um, with having no jobs. I don't really want to um, work myself too much at the beginning. Um, Right now I work at an office job and as much as I love working there and the people who I work with, I just don't really think that an office job is something that I'm looking for in my future. Um, I don't really like to sit for eight hours of the day. It's just, it's just too much. <laughs> I need something a little bit more active and um, maybe something like that involves nature or animals or something like that. I'll be going to school later on this year and um, I'm going to go to school for environmental science. I'm 26 right now and I've been putting off finishing school for a really long time and um, I'm pretty excited because Washington has some really awesome environmental science programs and um, I think that'd be pretty cool. So if I could find like some kind of part-time job, like the aquarium or something, like the zoo or even like a park or something, I think that'd be cool. I just don't really want to sit for eight hours of the day. We do have a dog. Her name is Muffin. You're going to be seeing a lot of her. She's a Maltese. Say hi. <laughs> and she's mad at me right now. I don't know why. Maybe you want to go outside? Okay. You want to go for a walk? Do you guys want to come for a walk? <laughs> Muffin really wants to come for a walk. Let's do it. I don't know how long it's going to take me to actually get used to walking with the camera. So, hopefully I'm not too shy. <laughs> Oh, and of course, Muffin is pooping right in front of someone's house, and I don't have anything to clean it up with. I'll come back later and pick it up. I'm going to continue walking here. Maybe we'll go to this little cute spot over there so I can talk a little bit more about our move and what our plans are. So I just brought Muffin upstairs to take her inside and this cute little dog, big dog, big pup, just like came out of nowhere and I have no idea where his home is. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come here, girly. I don't know where your home is. I'm going to hopefully try to find Hi babies. Okay, let's go to the office. I'm gonna try to figure out where this pup is from. Because I have no idea. Come on. We're gonna go back to our little area. Maybe someone will be looking for you. Alright, I'll update you shortly. So hopefully it's not too hard for you guys to hear me. So I'll talk a little bit louder. We have um, these pretty cool fountains on our balcony. 
so they're really loud. If you ever hear that noise, that's what it is. I walked through a couple of hallways and finally this couple came out of the stairs that like they were in the pool or something and they like had their bathing suits on. And anyways, um, they're like, oh my god, is that that's our dog? And I was like, okay, good, because I'm trying to help find the home. And it was the first place that I knocked because the door was open. Apparently, the little pup had let herself out. So they're probably going to have to address that. But that's always one interesting thing about living in apartments. So that's good. I'm going to actually close the vlog now. Um, I hope that this has been somewhat entertaining. <laughs> And please subscribe so you can see my crazy adventures and um, our planning of our move to Seattle and everything that's going to happen before and after. And yes, so please subscribe. And um, you can also find me on my Twitter and my Snapchat. Um, the links will be in the bio. So I will talk to you guys.